now for the results of the great 6-7 Cummins intake elbow shootout of 2017. Here come the results. We did all our testing on the Superflow SF1020 flow bench. We set the, the, the boost pressure, so to speak, or the pressure into each of these uh, elbows at the same value, 10 inches of water or 3 eighths of a, a pound of pressure pushing the air in. You install the elbow on the bench, you set the pressure, you engage it, and it will bring up the flow until it hits that pressure drop through the elbow. So nobody turns dials to make this happen, it just does it, and you write down what it did. So here are the results. We started with H&S, and H&S uh, does an elbow as everybody else does, uh, with the exception of our monster rams. They do an elbow that clears the stock number one injector line on the Cummins. To do that, you gotta whack the hell out of the inlet part of the thing and really dirty it up and restrict it. So with the H&S, they're pretty much like the stock setup. It's quite flat uh, and, and kind of uh, chopped off here. It's just blowing into this wall and then pushing it down in. So there's a lot of loss there. The stock elbow flowed 432 CFM. The H&S picked up 110 CFM or 25% flow increase. The BD, which is a ghost today because I had to give it back to the fellow I got it from, uh, the BD did a bit better. I'm a little disappointed uh, in these guys. They've been around turbocharging quite a while. Uh, it picked up 266 CFM or 62% flow increase. AFE, um, these guys are kind of green to this kind of stuff. Yeah, they've been around a few years. Uh, but it's kind of a marketing thing going on with these cats. Uh, they have this Blade Runner thing going on, and the interior of theirs, of their uh, elbow, if you look deeply inside, has this like blade to help the air turn. Uh, once again, severely uh, chopped and gouged here to, to get the thing to clear the fuel line. This is a three and a half inch inlet. And this baby picked up 355 CFM for an 82% gain over the stock piece. Now, one thing I'd like to point out uh, on the H&S, and it's missing a bolt. Uh, I really want a bolt there. I don't want to blow that gasket out. Uh, we're we're going to make some really high boost, 50, 100, 150 pounds, maybe more. Uh, and short cutting the manifold off the head and going to something like our Big Hoff's side draft, you're going to want to push a lot of air through whatever you choose. So now we move to GDP. These guys also are missing a bolt, but they put a little pin but there's no wrenching pressure. There's no bolt pushing this surface against the uh, intake manifold part of the cylinder head. So once again, and this one's got quite a groove in it. I've named this one Scarface. And Scarface, Glacier Diesel, uh, picked up 366 CFM or an 85% gain. What's really interesting is that this guy with no Blade Runner stuff going on whatsoever, beat the one with the Blade Runner. So, <laughs> once again, it's kind of a marketing thing rather than a performance thing. Then we move into this muffler shop uh, elbow. This, this is Pusher. This has a three and a half inch inlet. And there's a couple of things about this. Uh, first of all, this is the thing you should beat. The NACA study that, that I did back in 1956, I've been using ever since. I avoid like 
poison this kind of thing. If you don't beat this, then you're really pretty far off the beam here. This guy um, really doesn't take advantage of the outlet area you could have. Has quite a gash in it. Uh, and one of the things I really picked up about this one is these, uh, and I'm going to assume these are water meth injection ports. This first one bl only blows mainly into one tube. And this one here kind of hits both, but it gets into that divide anyway. And beneath it is the T-MAP sensor. So after you blow a little water meth, how about it drips on your sensor? Uh, I don't think that's going to be good for the sensor. This one picked up 394 CFM or 91% gain. Then we move into the Monster Ram. The Monster Ram this is the three and a half inch. Uh, once again, has a symmetrical outlet on it, as you can see here. And uh, the injection nozzles are kind of canted and aimed. We did this in our CAD uh, so that we, we got a precise aim of that cone right into the sweet area of this thing. Great water meth evaporation time, cooling time, and then ultimately flow into the cylinder head in a real uniform manner. And we're going almost straight down at that point, uh, as opposed to this guy, which is cheated. In other words, your outlet is like that. So they've kind of cheated the, the bend rather than using a tighter radius to ma make it square off at the flange. And oh, by the way, this is not milled flat. It's ground on a disc sander of some kind. If you're going to make big boost, you want a dead flat machine surface. Don't get it there. This is the sort of product, since I'm on it for a second, I can make this thing Id identical, probably improve it, for about half the money they're selling theirs for. So I showed you the three and a half. The three and a half picks up 474 CFM or 110% in flow. And then we get to the four inch. And both of these take advantage of something we've done so that we didn't have to compromise our design. We've done an injection line that clears the design. And it's made by a major OEM fuel injection supplier. So it's not made it out in the back room with a hand vendor. So the four inch. The four inch gets us to 576 CFM gain, 133% more than the stock setup. Some features on the four inch and on the three and a half, every mount and every sensor early or late 6.7 is provided for. Uh, you can also put in some other sensors if you want to pick up pressure or temperature for your own instrumentation. I like to do that with my manifold air density equipment. Uh, and there you see the injector nozzles installed, ready to go. So, what will these guys set you back? Three and a half inch in natural aluminum is 339. And the injection line to clear it is $60. Four inch in, in natural aluminum is $369 and um, $60 for the injection line. Paint is $24 on either one of them, powder coat. And we have a hump hose. If you're going to run the four with a three and a half inch boost tube, we've got a hose that does that. The three and a half inch model, any boost tube that, that'll go to the stock setup will go to this. Now let's talk a little bit about price. For my entire career, the, the competition has been saying that banks might be the best, but they're expensive. So how do we compare? We went to the internet, did, did a little shopping, and it's as it always has been. We're competitive on price and highly competitive on performance and durability. We're different than everybody else because in this entire spectrum of competitors here, none of these are engine people. 
we've been engine people since 1958. So, and we know how to win. You're buying performance here. You can compare prices, but the best way to compare this is compare the cost of the performance you're buying. What are you paying per 100 CFM uh, gain in airflow? You're buying airflow. So we did a little performance cost comparison. Let's get into that. Okay, we're starting with H&S. $329 uh, online price, 110 CFM gain. That's costing you about $300 per 100 CFM. BD, the ghost. Uh, we're doing casting to casting. So I thought well, where there's something extra thrown in like our fuel line or BD has a boost tube in their price. So without the boost tube, I estimated their casting at $250. Uh, it's $382.50 with the boost tube. At $250, bucks, 100 CFM uh, costs you $94. With the mandatory 3.5 inch boost tube and the adapter hose to 4 inch, uh, they kind of go for the moon. Uh, and they're at $143.80, call it $144 bucks per 100 CFM performance gain. AFE, uh, $390 online, and um, right about $110 per 100 CFM gained. Glacier, uh, they have five ports. We put in the, the number of ports for water meth or other things, um, and I'll tell you why in just a second. But uh, Glacier, with five ports, 359 bucks or $98 per 100 CFM gained. Pusher comes with two ports, 20 bucks more if you want another two to get to four. That makes the Pusher $369 and 394 CFM for uh, rounding off 94 bucks per 100 CFM. Moving into the Monster Ram, Four ports, fuel line, injector line included, three and a half inch, we're at 84 bucks per 100 CFM. The four inch, same configuration with the line, we're at 74 bucks per 100 CFM. And then, and then if you do the apples to apples, castings to castings, our three and a half is at $72 per 100 CFM. And our four inch is at $64 per 100 CFM. Balance that $64 against things like H&S at nominally $300 and BD with, the, with their uh, boost line at, a, at $144 per 100. Here's what you get with banks. You get the best performance and our overall price is real competitive. And our cost per 100 CFM is a flat out bargain. That's been us for almost 60 years, regardless of what people are telling you. So if you want to know a little more about this, uh, you could call uh, any of our consultants here uh, at 1-800-GET-POWER if you've got additional questions that I haven't answered. Uh, or you can go online to bankspower.com. You can buy our product through bankspower.com directly, or you can go to any performance diesel outlet uh, in the country. So, once again, bankspower.com. I'll see you there.